So I think it could be a bit of a full moon tonight, which in that case, we're going to review Moon, part of the Beast Wars 2 collection, and it's a yellow cyber bunny. So this is Moon, very yellow, very cute, very anime. He, as I said before, he comes from the Beast Wars 2 collection and they all follow with some kind of gimmick in that time. But this thing doesn't really have a lot to Moon is also quite interesting character in terms of that. He's actually not a Transformer, he's not Cybertronian in origin in any way. He's not, though he joins the Maximal teams later on, um, he's actually Earth built so he's an android, he's an advanced android left by humans in that time stream. Uh, but this, he doesn't really have a lot to do with him because he's such a simple figure. Uh, so, he has mainly the articulation that's kind of inverted and whatnot, as you can see. Uh, back legs, tail, which is actually his head. Ears, which can either go in a point or look super cool and speedy. Head rotates and looks very cute. And that's about it, he has the mid-rift sort of articulation, so you can spin him all the way around if you want to put him on some kind of tripping phase. But he's generally a lovely little bunny. Um, again, not very distinguishable as a Transformer, because uh, not many take that form. And he has very, he's very robotic bunny, rather than I believe it is it Scampy, who also exists in this time frame. Um, but that's his bunny mode. To transform him is so simplistic. You basically turn him upside down, put his legs straight, rotate his body, put his back legs down. You can already see what's happening here. Turn him around, rotate his head, and fold out his little feet, and then tuck his ears up. And there you have Moon in robot mode. Shit. Basically, this thing looks something from the 60s, like a man in a suit. Something I lost in space, even. Uh, his articulation, again, is more or less the same as in bunny mode. Nothing really differs between the two modes. Okay, so you got, got a lot more leg freedom, so he has that nice stance at the back. His arms are ridiculous, because he, they are subjected to being the back legs of the bunny mode. He basically has just this really robotic movement and it's it adds to his cuteness but it also adds just how crap he really is uh he can do like you know whoop, and he can fall apart see i told you his legs were very articulated so he can do <laughs> he can do all the like no i'm not doing this today i don't feel like it go over there and do another review so you can do that and that's about that's about it when it comes to arm arm articulation. His head is probably the really nicest touch in robot mode as he looks like one of them rolling ball things from Terror Hawks uh, with a sharp pin on top which is cool. Most people have kibble he has a and that's even the wrong way yeah he has bunny butt instead of bubble butt. Uh, there's no really good way of putting this it can either look like a really elongated tail in robot mode or just to keep it up there to give him volume to his body i tend to keep it up there uh, like i said most most beast wars 2 things came with a gimmick he has one of them viewfinders remember as a kid you used to put the disc in and look through it and click it and it'll show you a different image well this is it this is basically it he has a little white transparent tub there at the back and you look through there and all that you click them up and down to change the image and there's about 12 images in there that show you characters from the beast wars uh two line like big convoy Le, was it leo convoy the distrons galvatron and they have like little blueprints and schematics but generally he's not a great toy but he totally scores high on the q factor bunny mode is the more desirable mode to keep him keep him in uh 
that's moon. Not really a great deal to show Van. But I wanted them. I hate yellow plastic, but he's cute. Well, hey. Go me. Moon, Beast Wars 2. Like it, love it. And on that note, also check out another friend of mine on the TFYTC community group. His name is TF Nosley. He not only does Transformer stuff, but is also very anime related. And I thought that was good touch since in this guy is quite animated. Check out his page. He's got loads there. He's been sort of a big personality within the Transformers groups for many, many years. A uh, good friend as well. So, yeah, check him out. Consider subscribing. And while you're there, check out the rest of my stuff on my channel. Uh, there'll be a link to not only John in the corner, but also check out the end cards at the end of the video for different pathways into my channel. But this is Moon. I hope you like him. If you've got him, what do you think of him? If you like him, not worth the time. Worth picking up if you can find him. Uh, don't spend too much on this guy, I'd say, last thing. Because uh, he can come in quite pricey. Uh, but hey, he's become probably a rare bird these days. But this is Moon. I'm Antronis Nexus. Thank you for watching.